On this video, I'm only going to show you one tip on how to fix this with one method. And in the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you other methods as well. There's many ways to do this, but in this um, video, I'm going to show you just one tip and trick. Okay, friends? I'm going to take my combination square so I can measure out a quarter inch of reveal all the way around. Now, if you don't have a combination square, don't worry. You can just use a plain scrap piece of wood laying around and just cut a, a quarter inch block of wood that you can use as a template. And I actually did that on one of my videos where when I installed my casing, I did that. So check that video out after you watch this video and see how I did that method on how to install a door casing. I'm using MDF board. This is non-profile. It's just a plain uh, rectangular piece, nothing special. And I'm just cutting out for the measurements on what I measured for on that quarter inch gap. Now I'm using my 2P10 and 2P10 activator. These are what I love to use whenever I like to join these MDF boards. Now you can use this on wood as well. I'll leave this product on the link down below and all the tools that I use on this video on the link down below. So check those out. These are easy to install. All you gotta do is spray one side with the activator, put one glue on the other side and just join them in instant, in seconds, they will hold nice and strong like this one. So we, we got our door casing on and right when we put it right against where the mark, it's a quarter inch on each edge right here. So we can have that quarter inch reveal. Look what happens. You have this gap all the way to this one side. The other side is flushed. So the, uh, this one has about a half inch and it tapers all the way down to a quarter inch. So let's take a look at what's going on right here. The casing touches the jam real well here. As you can see, we have a quarter inch reveal all the way around. But as it goes around, the gap gets bigger. We got an eighth inch gap and it gets bigger here to a quarter all the way to a half gap this is an older home which is these problems are very common on older homes if you look on the other side of this casing it's pretty much flush with the drywall we're not going to have an issue here putting the casing because it's going to be nice and flush with the drywall but this one we're going to have an issue unfortunately on this video i can only show you one tip for now and just wait for the next videos and i'll show you other ways to do this because there's many other ways on how to fix this issue okay so with that being said, let's get to it. Brad nailed the casing on each side. If you look right here on the right side, the casing flushes right with the door jam right here. And if you look on the other side as well, it's very even with the drywall. It's a little, there's a little bit about a, a 16th, a 16th of an inch gap, but uh, caulking should be able to fix that. And it's flush with the drywall but we have a gap right here on the door jam. So here's a good tip that I wanna show you guys that if you wanna fill in voids and spaces without wasting so much material on your caulking, use backer rods. These come in various sizes. This one is small size. It should fit around quarter inch to a half inch gaps. I'll show you right now. This is a half inch gap that I'm filling and it does taper off to a larger gap, which is half inch. So cut off once you get to the uh, larger gaps. And what actually says on the directions on this is you actually have to put two together and start twisting it like this. Just like a pretzel, um, you have to maintain one side clamped so it'll stay, stay twisted like this. And then you just twist it at, the, at your desired length and just carefully push that in there. Now you don't have to use any type of special tool, just use your fingers to um, tuck this in there. If it does start sinking more in there, Use more backer rods, shove as many as, as you can uh, behind that um, gap, and then use this as your final. Now be careful on the turns. I am gonna be I am gonna be using these on the 90 degree bend like what you see there, and just start twisting. Right when it tapers off to again to a quarter inch once again, I cut it and then I continue on down the line. Simple as that. I love using this. If you're interested in this product, I'll leave it in the description down below. Now we can apply our caulking. I like to use these big stretch caulk and I use gloves. I don't know why, I just don't want this all over my fingers, but now you're gonna go crazy with this caulk. I know it gets kind of messy. You have it all over the place. It's not as professional as you see it, but 
give me a second i can show you what i'm trying to do later on okay so just fill in what you can it's okay if it's all all over the place it's all bulky it's not you know it's not perfect the first time but the main goal that you want to try to do here is try to get all the voids covered up the backer rod should act as an extra filler so you don't use extra caulking now this is the trick that pretty much seals the deal use your uh, putty knife this is a cheap putty knife again i'll leave this too in the description down below and you're just gonna run this like a trowel okay you're gonna screed it it's like a screed you're gonna use once you're gonna use that flat edge of that um that casing the mdf casing on the left side and you're gonna follow that contour and use that as a screed so that you can get this nice this uh caulking nice and flat even with that casing so if you look closely i'm just putting pressure on the left side so that it's nice and um, square with the mdf uh, casing and then i'm just going back and forth trying to even that out just like you're trying to screed something it's the same concept okay so you're just going to do the same thing on this side and if it does fall short and you have voids take your caulking and just refill those voids make sure it's more um it sticks out your caulking sticks out more so you can have um enough to screed off here's a trick take your left hands as a guide and make sure you put pressure on the left side uh, touching the mdf and then just run your putty knife along that line now again we're just repeating the process here putting caulking over the backer rod so that it's nice and even so this is one of the most challenging thing on filling these voids especially when it tapers i know there's videos out there that shows you a consistent um filler that the gap stays consistent but we're dealing with a total different beast here this is a tapering gap which is one of the hardest things to cover so if you do have any other um techniques that you you have in mind that you can do this Please leave it in our comment section down below. Share it with the community because we would like to know your, your technique on how to do this. Also, here's another trick. I use my putty knife to put underneath that the, my door jam so that when I put the caulking, it doesn't get on the floor. Now, when you're done with the caulking, just run it on the upside and screed it along the line. All right. So once again, any help that you guys might have if you come across this issue and if you have other techniques, I would love to, and we would love to see and know your guys' technique. Now use a damp rag and wipe off the excess off the edges. And here's what it looks like, friends, when it is done. This is the first coat given. This might give, uh, this might have a little shrinkage um, when it dries, but no worries. Just take your caulking once again and run it again with a thin line and then go again and repeat the process. But overall, look how nice and clean this turned out. Again, this will show because this since this location is on the hallway when you're walking towards this this is what you're going to see not much on the right side okay so if you have guests over and you have this situation they're not going to go see much of the right side because that's pretty much exiting the bedroom which is on which is on the left side but if you look towards the front it looks clean it does it, you know you see a reveal but it doesn't have that bulk or that ugly um that ugly chunks of uh caulking and it doesn't look so obvious but overall after we get this caulk the second time even out we can actually go paint it and it will cover up if you found this video helpful please hit that big thumbs up press that subscribe and notification bell and i'll see you friends on the next video thank you so much let me know what you think of this method and if you have any other methods that you want to share thank you so much i'll see you on the next one